This video is made possible by PowerUp. Turn your paper airplane into a smartphone flying machine. And use promo code FF10 to get 10% off your order at PowerUpToys.com. Hello pilots of the internet, welcome to Foldable Flight. My name is Kyle and this is where I teach you how to fold paper airplanes that will blow your mind. And as you saw from that flight test, I have an incredible paper airplane to show you today. This is Valkyrie, which flies over 100 feet. And you could call it a hybrid, but honestly, it flies a lot like a true glider. It's got a really slow and graceful glide across that whole gym. And I'm actually going to show you how to fold two different versions of this plane. One uh, is really well balanced just for flying on its own. And the other is balanced better for using the PowerUp product. So if you're using the PowerUp 3.0, the 2.0, or later when it comes out, even the 4.0, this is the version you'll wanna fold and the only difference is in the first step. So it's going to be really easy to teach you both of those. Now, what I will say is as with all of my planes, I have designed a template for this plane. So if you are interested in folding a plane that looks like this, rather than just a plain sheet of paper, Valkyrie's template is available on patreon.com slash foldable flight. Consider becoming a patron there. And with that out of the way, let me teach you how to fold this plane. The first thing you'll need to decide when folding this paper airplane is just whether you're going to fold the long version or the short version, because in our very first step, we're actually going to be cutting the paper. This is an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper, and we want to change the rectangle that we're going to use to fold this. So if you're folding the long version that works with the power up motors, I recommend that you cut the top inch of the paper off. And if you are using the short version that flies best on its own, cut the top two inches off the paper. You could also fold the top edge down, either one inch or two inches, but you're going to change the flight characteristics of the plane a little bit, and also your layers are going to get kind of thick and messy during the folding of this plane. So I would recommend, if you have scissors and a ruler, to go ahead and cut the paper as I'm about to do. For this video, I am going to use the shorter version, but the folding sequence is otherwise identical aside from just cutting off a different amount of the paper at the beginning. And with that, we are ready to begin. I'm going to now fold this right edge to the left edge. And while I have my paper like this, I will fold the top edge here to my folded edge to make a little triangle. And I'll flip the paper over and fold the next side to match. And once my paper is like this, I can go ahead and open it up to this orientation. Now you can use your ruler again for this step if you feel like you need it, but really we're just estimating a little more than an inch as we pull this down. I would say an inch and a quarter is fine, but anything close to that is great. Don't feel like you have to use a ruler if you don't have one on hand anymore. And we'll go ahead and fold it something like that. And then go ahead and open this back up. And next, I'm going to actually fold this edge here to land on this crease we just made. So you can see most of the edge is going to go out past our plane. But I just want to land this section right here on that crease that we just made. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Oh, 
Okay, and the next step is to again fold this top point down. And I want to fold it down so that this edge here is going to be about one inch long. And again, this can be an estimation. I have this nice grid here that really helps me dial that in. But again, feel free to use a ruler or not use a ruler here. But when your plane is folded, it should look like that. Our next step is to do what's called the swivel fold. And we're going to create a crease that runs right along this edge on this pocket. So literally, I'm just pulling this open and creating that crease right like that. And you can see it won't lie flat yet. So while I hold this in this manner, I can push this flat. And I want to land this corner right here on this edge. And doing so should mean that when I flatten this, everything lines up nicely with the edges of my plane. And your plane should look like this. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, just kind of pulling this open along this edge to create a crease and then flattening everything to look like this. And our next step is very simple. We're just folding this whole top edge here or this right half of the top edge rather to the center. And we can do the same thing on the other side. And then we will go ahead and actually open both of those folds up. And now we're going to fold this edge here to land on the crease we just made. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And your plane should look like this. Now we get to make use of these kind of tabs that we had created when we did those swivel folds. And we're going to fold the whole thing in on this existing diagonal crease that we have. But we want to tuck this tab behind this central section. So I'm just going to kind of pull it a little bit. I don't want to crease it because the stiffness of this will help hold all the layers together. So I'm just pulling on it enough to swing it behind there and tuck it in like so. And now I'll do the same thing on this side. Again, just swinging this behind, tucking it in, and then I can lay my plane flat like so. Now we'll go ahead and fold the plane in half on that existing center crease. And we're going to fold wings. Now, uh, the only difference between the long version and the short version, whether you're working with the power up version you want, or this version that I'm folding here, is the size of the wings that you want to fold. So uh, let me go ahead and fold a wing that is for this short version, and then I'll fold the other wing as though it is for the long version. So we're going to crease like this, and I'm, I'm making the crease, and I'll explain exactly the logic behind it here as I open this back up. So you can see my crease is just above the nose of the plane. And when I swing this, this layer here, this edge is meeting that corner of the plane. So as I close it, you can see that edge lands right on that corner. And that is how we want to fold the standard wings for this plane. So your plane should look like this. So if you're folding the short version, you would just fold the other wing to match like so. and you have a finished plane. But if we're folding the long version, so here's the short version, if we're folding the long version, you're going to want wings that go much, much lower, like so, because you want enough wing area to really lift that extra weight of the power up motor. So if you're folding the long version, consider wings much more like this rather than the wings like this. So you will find that this is a little bit finicky when you throw this plane. It might even dive down slightly when you first fold it, and you're going to have to bend the back edges of the wings up just slightly, and I mean really slightly. Dialing this in can be just a little bit difficult because you'll be amazed 
at how big a difference adjustments on this back edge really make in terms of it either diving or swooping up and stalling. So you gotta find that sweet spot in the middle where it's going to glide really, really gracefully. And while we're talking about ways to improve your paper airplane experience, that's where power up comes in. Turn your paper airplane that flies into something that really flies. Power up converts your paper airplane into a smartphone flying machine. Just download the app, attach the module, and take to the skies. All of the modules are quick to charge, easy to use, and are virtually crash proof. PowerUp invites you to make many planes in many shapes because every plane brings with it new tricks and with them new gasps of excitement. Follow the link in the description and use the promo code FF10 to get 10% off your order at PowerUpToys.com.